Hi everyone, I'm here with my Christmas journal collection for 2018 uh, and all of these journals will be in my Etsy shop uh, later on today uh, when this uh, video is posted. Now I'm actually going to do two videos. I've got two that are more uh, vintage themed and I've got two that are more retro themed. So this video I think I will do the vintage journals and then I'll come back with another video um, to take you through uh, the retro journals. So this one is made using the uh, new Simple Stories uh, Vintage Christmas collection and this one is using the um, Graphic 45 uh, 12 Days of Christmas collection. So let me start with this one. Um, now this journal is about five by seven and a quarter. Uh, and the idea of these journals is that um, they're similar to a traveler's notebook, but a hardcover. Now, they are sewn in, um, but when I say similar to a traveler's notebook, I've only got two signatures uh, in um, the smaller ones. I've got three in, in the other one there. Um, but two signatures with a file folder in the middle. Uh, and the signatures uh, are six pages each. So there are 48 sides in here, which I thought was a great size um, for one year of um, your Christmas journal. So they are smaller. Um, you can see uh, there is some room for expansion, um, but these will become probably fairly um, thick once you get all of your memories in it. So on the cover of this one, I have left... Uh, a book plate here. Uh, it is open at the top. You can slide in uh, whatever you'd like here, maybe the, the year or your family name, something like that. Um, I've got one of the journaling cards from the kit uh, layered over some sheer fabric here. Uh, so inside I've just used a variety of papers. This envelope I have not uh, cut so you can cut it either across the top or down the side and I have also not glued this so if you want to glue this side it will become a pocket or you can just glue it all down and cover it with paper. So a variety of pattern paper. I've used a couple of the elements that came with the kit here um, and just my favorite um, ledger papers and I've made this fairly um, Hmm. rustic by adding in some of the uh, coffee dyed craft paper. So that's the first signature. In the middle is um, a, a folder here with two pockets. You can insert journaling or uh, pictures. Um, and then this is the second signature. Again, one of the elements from the kit. Just some blank pages, and that is the inside. Now, coming with this kit um, is a bunch of things. Um, and let me take you through the trim. So I'm going to include some fabric that you can make some pockets out of. Um, and then here are the trims that I'm going to send. There's lots of trims with this one is really pretty. It's kind of a got a green edging to it. And then that and this thicker plaid and this um, fairly rustic um, pine cone. I love that one. Uh, I'm going to send this thinner. Um, plaid and then I'm going to send along some just some twine uh, and also just some of this um, red and green and white uh, baker's twine that are great on tags so that is uh, the trims that are coming with it and included will be um, five different tabs that I've already cut out for you let me just show you those. So the red, this one, this one, this one, I'm missing one, the green. So those will be the tabs. I've included uh, just some words here. These are actually from uh, some of my October afternoon. I'm going to include, there's three bells here 
uh, there's a couple of stars from the collection. You've got some red paper clips, one of the Tim Holtz clips, and I like to paint these. So if you just paint it with some gesso first, uh, and then you can paint that whatever color uh, to match your journal that you'd like. And I've got some buttons here. Uh, these are vintage red buttons and some white buttons as well. So you'll get those as well. And then I've got kind of a package of goodies here for you. So there will be some end cuts of the paper, some larger ones. And then I've also included the smaller off cuts. These are great for side pockets or making more tabs, that kind of thing. Uh, some of the I shot till I dropped papers, some of these cute apron papers, and some of those, and some of the Santa. Then you'll get a plain card and an envelope, great for decorating and including it. And then this cute card. You'll get a couple of my favorite envelopes and that's what I included this fabric for to make some pockets on these if you'd like. And then there's four different sizes of bags, or sorry, three different sizes of bags and then a glassine envelope. And then I've included three tags that I've made from the paper. And then I've got some labels here. And a couple of these. And a large tag, a guest check, a library card and pocket and then some smaller tags here this cute santa and a price tag Oops. and those tags to match and i've included one of these trees that are from the ephemera from the kit and just um photo overlay and then I've also I'm going to be including some of these journaling cards that come with the collection I love this one so that is this journal well, let me just clear this away and let me show you the graphic 45 so I have used, this is actually a hidden binding. I have used um, All Things Bright and Beautiful. I thought that was perfect for a Christmas journal. It's got this really pretty um, gold leaf on it. Uh, and then this one, I have three signatures in a folder. And as I mentioned, it's using the Graphic 45 12 Days of Christmas. Beautiful. Uh, this is the first signature, and then this is the um, folder in the middle, pockets already in, second signature, and there are uh, 60 sides in this one, so it's a little bit bigger, and this is the final signature. And again, I haven't cut that envelope, you can do that however you would like. Okay, so that's the 12 days of Christmas. And with that, um, I'm going to include another um, little grouping here. Uh, here are the tabs that go with this one. Um, you'll get the tidings and you've got a couple of things here from uh, October afternoon, some paper clips, more of those buttons. This is another vintage button, that clear button, paper clips, and you've got a couple of things here from the uh, cut aparts, another Tim Holtz clip, and um, some jingle bells there. And in terms of decorating this, if you watch my last video, um, you'll see kind of how I typically use these things. So the idea of this is that you, you know, you um, will add your own 
uh, decoration as you go through your December memories. Um, particularly for Christmas, I think I really like that idea because there's so many things to to add to a journal at Christmas that it's it's um, I think it's hard to try to work with a pre-decorated one. So that's why I decided to do these this year. So with this one, you're going to get some of my favorite lace make that into a pocket as well as some of that sheer fabric and this coffee dyes really beautifully so you'll be able to use that for a pocket and then these are the trims um, this really pretty plaid this is a little velvet trim and then this one and then I've added some thinner ones. So there's a green with some gold. And then there's some red with gold. And then this gold one is actually wired, um, but that makes a great bows to add. And then this pink and lace one with some gold edging, and that's also wired. It would make great pockets. Uh, and the things that I've included, of course, are very similar to the last one. So you'll get um, some end cuts of papers here. Uh, you'll see some journaling cards here that I've cut out from the collection for you. Uh, you've got some of those. Those and those. I've added some doilies for this one, and these coffee dyed beautifully. Um, you've got this card, and the same one to decorate, and then the same envelopes, and then the three sizes of bags here, and the glassine envelope. These tags, there's two there. And then this tag, and your th the tags that go with this, um, the three ta uh, tags that I've made, um, the photo overlay, the guest check, the library card, and those other tags. So, um, sorry that's looking a little bit messy. <laughs> um, so those are the two um, vintage uh, journals that I'm going to have for sale in my shop. Uh, this one I should mention to you is um, five and a half by eight and a quarter. So it's a little bit bigger uh, and that's why it could take um, a few more uh, or another signature. So these are the vintage ones. As I mentioned, I'm going to link the um, my Etsy shop below uh, with the listings for these and I will be back with the retro journals.